If you tuned in last week for the glorious return of Hamster Thursday, well, you saw some geese first off. And then you saw a Nintendo 64 version of the venerable Hamster Monogatari franchise that looked, admittedly, almost identical to the various Game Boy Advance versions I've already covered. Well, here's a real treat for you. The original, first ever Hamster Monogatari. And it looks absolutely identical to everything else. These are totally the same hamsters you've seen over and over again. Heck, I changed the hamster's name to PS1 just so I couldn't cheat and use footage from the N64 version. It would be kind of obvious because any N64 footage wouldn't be broken up by loading screen after loading screen after loading screen. The fifth generation was a strange time for gaming after all because being cross-platform meant having to deal with cartridge-based media on one hand and CD-based media on the other. Plenty of games failed to cross the divide unscathed. Good games. Mega Man 64, enough said. Hamster Monogatari, though, feels as comfortable in this PS1 version as in any of the carts that would eventually succeed it. Though it wasn't the first in Culture Brain's series of small animal raising simulations, that honor goes to Ferret Monogatari, which predates this beast by a couple months, this version codified the mechanics that would be almost laughably unchanged for years. You get a hamster in a cage, with changeable amenities you buy from a shop, you raise said hamster by giving it a training regimen to boost its stats, and then you make it compete for glory in races and whatnot. Yep, it's exactly the hamster monogatari you expected, right down to the weird pseudo-evolution your hamster undergoes a month into your care, and the encyclopedia of hamster formus. As your hamster grows, it'll learn tricks, which might just consist of looking side to side, or acting all tough like it really doesn't need your sunflower seeds, man. When in fact it's all well, just an act it's working on for the next talent show. These and other competitions will unlock as your hamster levels up and can take part in more and more events, with its performance dependent upon your abilities with the controller as well as the stats you've been developing. And now we come to the time in every Hamster Monogatari review where I lambast the ridiculous compatibility checker brought to you by this seriously creepy hamster in gypsy robes. I still think it's a stupid waste of space in any game, but they're dead set on including it, so let's see how well Yoko Kano and Motoi Sakuraba would get along. Turns out they make beautiful music independent of each other, but not together. Shame, really. So now, if you really must raise hamsters at home, as opposed to on a portable system, and you only have an import PS1 on hand for whatever reason, you too can join in the fun of Hamster Monogatari. I'd like to thank our eternal hamster queen, Felicity in Worcestershire, who's probably still on cue for those Boxing Day whatevers. I still don't get it. Does George Foreman show up and grill meat pies for everyone in line or something? Meat pies are a thing, right? I heard that on Shaun of the Dead. 